Greetings, friend. I will show you how to best set up a Sudoku X Y wing in this puzzle using other advanced strategies. Not only that, later in the video, I'll give you some fun facts about our Friday featured set of Turganis and a special announcement just for you. Click below if you want to give it a go. And with that, it's solving time. The first thing you want to do is look at the fours. You got fours here in column seven, nine, and this four across the top. It means there's only a place left for a four up here in block three. And if you take these two fours in rows one and three, you can solve for four right there. And then with these fours here in row seven and nine and come up there, you can solve for a four here in block seven. And there's only one place left for a four here in block four. So we've got to knock out all of the fours. So that's pretty nice. You can get a lot done in this puzzle. You're actually going to get quite a few givens here, but it requires advanced strategies to go all the way through. And that's why I want to set this up for you. Check out the six, column seven, row one, only place left for six is right there. And now with these two sixes and this six, means a six can only be right there as well. And now you've got these twos. There's only one place left for two here in block one. We're gonna make some progress up here across the top as you will notice. Now let's check out these fives. Fives in rows one and three means this has to be a five. And then this is kind of cool. See how you have the five here and the five here? Uh, you know, the two spots for five now in block seven. But if you look further right here, what can this cell be, right? It can't be a one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, or a nine. It actually has to be a naked single five. So we can solve that four or five right, right away. All right, so I want to kind of point that one out. Um, now what we want to do is uh, we can kind of stay down here and go, all right, you got these two nines and you got a nine coming across row eight. So we can solve for a nine right here. And then where can the threes be? All right, if you look, here you'll notice that uh what can this cell be all right it can't be a one two four five six seven eight or nine this actually has to be a three which leaves a one eight in block seven and we want to start setting up now some of this we will notice this, there's a lot of ones and the ones are going to be critical and and setting up that x y wing i was telling you about so you want to pay attention here uh something else to keep in mind uh we're going to kind of fill in some more of the the blocks and rows up here kind of see what we're doing you see how this nine cuts across it means the nines are, are a pointing pair uh we'll make that mark and if you go all the way across here you'll notice there's just a one and a nine left across row two so we'll mark that um and if you fill in block three what do we need here we need a one two seven and a nine this looks like it can be a two or a nine because of the one and seven and this can be a one two seven nine now if you look at block three like this doesn't look there's nothing really special about this but this is the critical block this is the block where we're going to start chiseling away to make that x y wing it's really cool how this is going to work out i can't wait to show you and we're a little bit far from that but don't worry i'm going to set you up here but you want to do to kind of set the rest of this is you want to keep working up here in the top uh three rows and there's a couple of key columns i want to show you what could be right here, right? This can be um, a one, two. You got one, two, seven, eight, or nine across here. You already have the seven and the eight. So this is a one, two, nine. And then if you look in here, uh, what can this be? It can only be a one, two, three, or eight, because you have the four, five, six, seven, nine, uh, all kind of playing into this. This can't be an eight. And so you got two spots for the eight right there. And then this can't be a one. Okay, it doesn't seem very uh, very much going on there, but the next thing you wanna do is you actually wanna focus on the fact that you have a five and a one right here and a five and a one right there. What does that do? It means it limits the fives and the ones to these two cells. And whenever you have uh, two candidates limit the same two cells in the three by three block, that is, called a hidden pair and so now the, the one to five have to be somewhere in block five they can only be there so that's going to be a one five hidden pair which means we can eliminate this one right here and we can fill out the rest of column five with a two three eight there's a two here so that's going to be a three eight this is actually these are some critical by value cells bbc as i like to call them because this eight that's only a two or a three all right i wanted to show you that that is a key intermediate step and it might have been something you saw early on uh, in this puzzle. The other column we want to fill out 
is going to be column seven. This is going to be a, another focus point as it plays along with block three. Okay, so you have a three, four, six, and eight. We need a one, two, five, seven, nine. Okay, so we got a one and a five right here. So this is a two, seven, nine. And then you have a seven, and you have a nine and a two here. So this is just going to be uh, a one, five. And then this would be a one, two, five, because you have the nine and the seven, uh, but you don't have the, the two anymore. This is nice. And you're like, okay, Timberlake, I'm not seeing it, but this is important. We are setting ourselves up for our first advanced strategy. And in order to see that first advanced strategy, you want to look here in block nine. Where can ones be? All right, you got this one cutting across here. You got this one cutting across uh, column, column eight row nine it means this can the ones are in these three spots here and this is not really snyder notation but i want to show you that they're in these three spots this one and this one is doing quite a bit of help for us and the reason being is now a one can't be in any of these three spots and a one can't be in any of these three spots so it restricts the ones along row seven and column nine so how many spots can a one be in row seven well it can only be in these two spots right there and i'll highlight those right because it can't be in any of these three spots because of this one and it can't be here because of this one how many places can a one be in column nine it can actually only be in two spots as well right because of this one can't be in any of these spots and because of this one can't be here this these purple cells are an advanced strategy and you know what this strategy is called it is called a two string kite okay so to find a two string kite you look for a cannon like the ones you'll notice that it can go out uh, exactly to one other candidate outside of the block in a row and one other candidate outside the block in a column. Okay, and if that's the case, and you have these what's called a strong link, you know, if this was false, that'd be true, it's a strong link, and you have another strong link here, then any cell that these two tips see, you can eliminate a one. And the reason being is that either, you know, this is a one, if this is not a one, this cell, the only other cell in row seven that could be a one would have to be a one, which will eliminate all the other ones in this block. And if it eliminates all the other ones in this block, then this cell would have to be a one. So either a one's here or a one's here. And it kind of makes like this kite looking shape here. So we can eliminate a one from this cell right there. And you're like, okay, yeah, you made it a BVC. This is actually really important because we're eliminating the amount of ones that are now up here in block one. And this is great. I'm going to show you why in just a second. And this kind of work reminds me of another great solving video I did of this puzzle by Jovial. I'm going to put that at the end. You will want to check that out if you want to solve two string kites even better. And if you want to receive reward puzzle packs, exclusive content from setters like this, check out the pinned comment below to join the Smarty Party. All right. The next strategy we're going to set up is related to this. So a two-string kite is a form of an X chain. An X chain means it's a chain of strong and weak links for one candidate. Well, we have now just set ourselves up for another longer X chain. And I'm going to get rid of these colors because I don't want to confuse you. But we're going to look in a lot of these same cells we just did because we're going to make some two critical eliminations that will set us up for the next bit to chisel away right in here okay so what we did since this is no longer one we now have a strong link within block one it means the one can only be in two spots so if it's not here it has to be there that's called a strong link and so let's follow this if this is a strong link and then we have a weak link going on here that means this is true everything else along here would be false go to this one and then you have a strong link down here to this one because we show there's only two places for one along column nine a weak link to this one, which means if this is true, everything else would be false. And then another strong link to this one, weak to here. And this is actually a strong link, but it's going to be called a surrogate weak link because strong links can also be weak. And then back up here, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. And you keep going around. That is an X chain. And so I'm going to color that. Let's use blue. What does it mean? It means that this cell right here, this is, this is a one. It's not a one, that'd have to be a one. This couldn't be a one, that'd have to be a one. This couldn't be a one, and that'd have to be a one. This is not a one, that's a one. This wouldn't be a one, that's a one. That wouldn't be a one, this would be a one. 
the point is that a one has to be one of these two spots in this column. It has to be one of these two spots in the row. It's gonna to have to be one in this block, one of these two spots in the row, one of these two spots in the column, one of these two spots in this block. We just proved it. And then one of these two spots in this row. And so this is an X chain and it's also a continuous loop. And what it means is we can eliminate all the ones that are not in blue along these rows, blocks, and columns. So you can eliminate a one from right there. This, this cell would never be a one. If you put a one right there, you'd end up breaking not only the X chain, you end up breaking the puzzle. And if you don't believe me, put a one in there and check it out and see what happens. The other one you can eliminate is right here. And these are both very critical eliminations. And then I'll show you that in just a second. And before I show you why these limits are so important, if you're just not that familiar with how X chains work, I did make an X chain tutorial. I'll put a link to that right here. You can go check that out and solve these advanced strategies even better. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. You won't miss any new content. Okay, why is this important? The important thing right here is that this is now a buy value sell and now plan to our next advanced strategy. But also, you look right up here, you now have a two and a nine. So let's get rid of all these other colors and you go up and I wanna look at this, right? This is now a naked pair, two and nine, only two cans that can be in these two cells, which means a two and nine can't be anywhere else along row one. So you can eliminate the two and the nine from right there. And now we've chiseled away here in block three. We've created another buy value cell. And this is going to be very important. We have a one seven and we have a one nine. In order to make an X, Y wing, we're going to need to find a cell that has a seven nine. If we want this to be our X, Y wing, and can we do that? And the answer is yes. We can find another strategy that's actually already set up you have enough information what you're looking at to make it work. And I'm about to show you to that right now. Okay, the strategy starts right here. And we'll put it in the purple. We're going to follow all these buy value cells. So this is a two. If this is not a two, this would be a three. And then this would be an eight. This would be a one. This would be a five. And then this cell would be a two. So what we just showed is that either this cell's a two, if it's not a two, through this chain of all buy value candidates or buy value cells, also known as an X Y chain, we would be able to sell that this is going to be a two. So now we can eliminate any two from any cell that sees both of these because we know one of those has to be a two. So we can eliminate a two from right here. This is huge. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Very excited. We're getting to this critical part. The whole reason why we did all these strategies is to set up in the best way that XY wing I was talking about. And before I get to the XY wing, I do want to share my fun fact and bonus announcement about Turganis. All right. I always ask how do they get their puzzles tested? Who helps them out making them? Turganis said that Grockles tests most of his puzzles. He also has it's called the Gap Team. It stands for Generally Approachable Pencil Puzzles. They will test many of the puzzles. Sometimes he throws it Discord server. This gives them new ideas and ways to kind of change the solve path to make a more compelling puzzle. I love hearing about how the cooperation and collaboration works for these setters. And in my bonus announcement, I have another Turganis puzzle for you on my Buy Me a Coffee page. If you want to check that out, you won't find it on my YouTube channel. There's a link below to get it, or you can check out my community tab on the YouTube channel. That'll get you to my Buy Me Coffee page. You can check that out for you. You will love it. Okay, we're going to take out these colors because now we want to get to the main feature strategy, and it's called an X, Y wing. All right, we chiseled away in block three. We chiseled away in column seven. What do we have left? Look right here. This is your pivot, right? This is a one nine and it has two pinchers. Okay, for, so for an X, Y wing to work, basically what you see is that you need three sets of candidates uh, by value cells. In this case, it's gonna be a one seven, one nine and seven nine, the three variations of the one seven nine. If this is a one, that'd be a seven. This is a nine, that'd be a seven. So any cell that sees these two purple cells, you can eliminate a seven. Since we have a seven coming up, column eight, none of these cells, uh, none of these cells can be a seven. And then now we just eliminate all sevens from these three cells because of the X, Y 
wing, which means there's only one place left for a seven here in block six, which is right there, which allows us to eliminate a seven from this cell and solve a seven, the one remaining possibility in block three, right there. This is amazing. This is a strategy you need. All right. And because of that, now we can eliminate and start making many more eliminations in this puzzle. Okay, so we did the seven, which means now this has to be a nine, because the only place left for a nine in column seven, which makes this a two, makes this a nine, makes this a one. Okay, also makes this a one. Two, seven, we got now eight right here, and we got a one right there, which makes this a seven down here. And now we go for a one and an eight, and we're gonna clean up a lot of these BVCs. This has to be your five, this has to be your two. Only one place left for a one there. We already marked you know, where the ones would be. I thought that's kind of cool. It can solve that right away. All right, let's go here. We got these twos in row seven, eight, only place left for two down there. And now, because this one and the two, this has to be a three. Okay, we can get rid of these threes. That's gonna give us a two, eight. Nice. And then we can look across and finish kind of row nine. What are we missing? It looks like a six and a nine. I got my six right there. So here's your six, here's your nine, which allows us to have a three right there. It's gonna give us an eight there, which gives us a two and an eight there, and then solve this for a three. You wanna just start knocking out as many of these cells as you possibly can. I only see two possibilities left here in column eight. So we're looking for a five and a nine. I got my nine there, so this is your nine, and that's gonna be your five. It's gonna clean up these BBCs real nice, because that's gonna be a one, that's gonna be a five. Awesome. And now with these two ones and this one, this has to be a one. We have a full house, so we can kind of finish right here and solve this for a three with this three. Now we can solve for a three over here in block six. And what do we have left? It looks like a two and an eight. Actually, you can't solve the two and the eight yet. I'm not gonna mark it. I'll just keep that in my working memory. Um, let's look right here. What do we need? It looks like a one, two, three, four, five, and we need a six, seven, eight. Can't solve the six, seven, eight yet. But we're going to get real close here because let's look down here. We need a five. And we got a five here and a five here. So that's got to be your five. Awesome. And now we can finish row eight because now the only thing missing there is a three. And then we look up and we go, what are we are missing? It looks like a six and a seven. Can't do the six or the seven yet. But if you look right here, you also need a six or a seven. I got a seven there. Now we can finish all three of these cells. So that's a six, that's a seven, and that's gonna be a six. All right, six and six here means this has to be a six. And I remember there was a seven and an eight. There's my seven. So here's my seven, here's my eight. With this eight means this has to be an eight now, and this is gonna be your two, if you remember that. And with this two, this has gotta be your two, the little cross hatching going on. And we have two cells left, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, look for a seven and nine. Seven's right there, so this is your nine, and that's your seven. You need to watch this other video if you want to solve advanced strategies even better. Thank you so much, Tragans, for being my Friday featured setter. You've been amazing this month, and thank you so much for watching.